Certificate Saga, prominent cleric sends warning message to article. Can you imagine? So all these clerics that are, that belong to one political party or the other that speaks as if uh, God is speaking to them. Only God knows whether they're hearing from God or they're speaking from their own volition. Okay? It is a very pathetic situation, I tell you. That, uh, you know, very pathetic situation for uh, for some of these people that call themselves clerics. Okay? I don't know where this cleric is coming from, whether it's a Muslim cleric or a Christian cleric. But let's dive into a detail and see the kind of warning sending to Atiku and why he should be sending warning to Atiku. Prophet Godwin Ikuru okay, has asked al Haj Atiku Abu Bakr to respect the constitution of Nigeria and stop probing the Chicago State University certificate of President Bola Tinubu. Ikuru said Atiku, a former vice president, should join hands with President Tinubu to move Nigeria forward. Prophet Ikuru said that Tiku has been embarrassing President Tinubu and the country, which he said is unnecessary. Can you imagine? <clears throat> so to him, um, Atiku is embarrassing uh, Tinubu rather than, get, rather than seeing things being put straight. He sees it as an embarrassment. So Tinubu himself that has all lot, a lot of all these forgeries uh, coming in his name. What do we say about that? That is a big question. So what do we say about that? Because I tell you, um, um, <clears throat> the case that is on Tinubu's neck is already giving Nigeria both local and international uh, embarrassment. So how can we, what do we have to say about all of that? I need to see this guy because I think he is uh, biased. This prophet Ikuru is biased. Let's get into the detail more. The founder of Jehovah's Eye Salvation Ministry, Prophet Godwin Ikuru, has asked Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People Democratic Party, to respect Bola Tinubu because the president has not disappointed the country. Can you imagine? Which prophet is this? Eh? All this, uh, are you sure this is not uh, all these white government church prophets? Because I tell you, this person seems to be talking from the blues. Okay? Um... He has not disappointed, has not disappointed Nigeria, but Nigeria now is crumbling to his knees. And Nigeria is crumbling to his knees very fast. Very, very fast. So, um, if he is trying to support APC. That is what I see. He seems to be a member of that APC. Let's go deeper and we'll get the details. Okay. Prophet Ikuru, also a chieftain of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC, or the former vice president to stop embarrassing Nigeria. I see. So, and now I will stop blaming him. So he's talking as an APC member, not as a prophet. That is it. Because I am sure what is going on in Nigeria today, nobody is finding it easy. It's biting everybody, whether Christians or Muslims. So this man is speaking as an APC member and not as a prophet. So, but again, I think he needs to know that whatever he says um, might come to haunt or haunt him later. How much has he been paid to say this? How much is he benefiting from APC today? How what what has APC given to him? He all this was is speaking to get the attention of APC and get the attention of President Tinubu. I'm sure, because I'm sure Tinubu pays people like this to continue to help propagate propaganda for him and for the for the for the apc that is it this man that is speaking is speaking of his own volition and he's not speaking from god's perspective he's not hearing from god i tell you he's speaking as a political analyst as a sentimental apc member and uh, speaking from his own selfish interest and the party interest that is it so we don't need to listen to him okay um as, thank god he didn't say god said or thus says the lord or he had heard from God, or he got a vision from God. He spoke expressly from his own mind, from his own volition. And that is fair enough. But again, his perspective is not the perspective of all the other Nigerians, even though he has right for his own opinion. He has right to his own opinion. That's fine. But again, this opinion is very controversial because a lot of Nigerians will not take it lightly from him. Life is very difficult for everybody right now, and it is a very challenging moment for all Nigerians and so nobody was entertained uh, contributions like this on the media 
Okay. So Prophet Ikuru slams article says with Tinubu uh um Bola met Tinubu and Atiku Abubaka um you know belong to Nigeria. So he sides with Tinubu straight up. That is what I see here. Now wow, Prophet Ikuru to Atiku, the cleric asked the PDP candidate to be law abiding. So he should respect our constitution, he should respect the president, and he should be law abiding. Are you sure Tinubu is not uh, between Tinubu and Atiku who is more law abiding? Let's get it uh, right as well. Now, while for some of these people that call themselves prophet, I tell you. So I think this guy should rather go into politics, be a politician, than being a prophet. Because what he's saying is not exactly what, uh, uh, what we want to hear. All right. So he continued by saying, um, you are from the north. He's telling Atiku now. Buhari Muhammad is from the north. Buhari served for eight years. Nigerians were not fools. You can't become a president, so please respect the constitution of this country and obey others. Respect the nation and respect the president because the president has not disappointed the country. That Those were his own uh, statement. Yeah, so he made a good point there. Uh, a Buhari, which is a Notana and a Fulani, cannot uh, or could not have ruled for eight years and another Fulani will enter. It is not their bet right. That is the truth. It must come to the south. But in coming to the south, where should it go to? That is it. Because we are still operating the zoning system. Where should it go to? It should have been a turn of the southeast, but they refused to give it to southeast because of selfish. The same self Emilio Kong syndrome that is driving Tinubu is what is driving Atiku. I don't know what Aosa man will call Emilio Kong now. What do you call it in Aosa language? Because that is Atiku, Atiku's uh, mindset, actually. He does not want to obey what uh, PDP has or the Nigeria is looking at. Okay, the APC is zoning to the south. PDP actually is zoning to the south. But he had to go play his game with the Northerners to scuttle it at the PDP primaries, presidential primaries. And that is what has put us where we are today. Because if he had supported Peter B in PDP, I tell you, Peter B would have been in PDP. And by now, PDP would have swept the whole Nigeria up and down. But it's because of that greed of Atiku not letting go that made the bid to leave for Labour Party and that has scattered the entire votes that PDP would have gotten. So, so this Prophet Ikuru, uh, the point that made, he made makes sense. A, a Fulani and Anotana cannot rule for eight years and uh, another one of Fulani and Anotana will, su will succeed him. They are not the only people in Nigeria. That is the gospel truth about it. But again, saying that Tinubu has not disappointed Nigeria is also another fallacy because the four or five months of Tinubu in power has caused untold hardship to Nigerians more than the eight years of Buhari. Unfortunately, he said he will continue from when Buhari stopped, and that's exactly what he has done in additional hardship to Nigerians. Quite unfortunate. And also appointing people with tainted record into power, into government, is also another bad thing that Tinubu is doing that Nigerians need to look out for. The president is working. All Nigerians need to do is to support the president to do everything possible for this government to move forward. Mm. He continues saying, issue of embarrassing, uh, embarrassing, dragging the president about the certificate is not necessary because you, Atiku, remember a statement that your former boss made against you, a particular book called My Watch, where your name was dragged to the mud. That is one part again. So I don't want you to further drag Mr. President. Please, you are a father. Respect that office of a father. Let Mr. President breathe and have peace. Those were his statements. Uh, <laughs> so thank you for listening. And let's have your...